It's been 10 years since the end of the Vietnam War, a conflict which involved nearly 3 million Americans. It killed 57,000 and permanently disabled 300,000. 566 prisoners of war were eventually returned, but another 2,500 are still unaccounted for. It's these missing in action that remain a mystery. The Vietnamese government says it has returned all prisoners. The families of those still missing don't believe that and point to numerous reports of sightings of Americans still held in captivity. The best source of these sightings is refugees. Lee Tai An, who publishes an anti-communist Vietnamese newspaper in the United States, says she received hundreds of letters from Vietnamese in response to an ad in her paper. The men who wrote this letter say that American prisoners are being held in cages like animals in a zoo. The more I receive letters, the more I talk to those uh, sources. Yes, I'm convinced that there are still men alive being held in Vietnam. America's most famous prisoner of war is Commander Jeremiah Denton, who returned to the United States 10 years ago. God bless America. God bless America. Denton, now senator from Alabama, says he has not seen evidence that can be authenticated to prove POWs are still in Vietnam. However, Denton says he does not doubt that possibility. We learned in prison that if they hammered at a given line, then we can assume that the opposite was true. They've hammered at the line that they have no more prisoners. That, to me, is circumstantial evidence that they do. Previous administrations have maintained a low profile in investigating MIA sightings in Vietnam. The Reagan administration, however, is pledging increased support to resolving the issue, as demonstrated by this Defense Department public service announcement prepared for television use. Our nation is working unceasingly to obtain an accounting from the Indo-Chinese governments so that the families of these men might finally have peace of mind. This is our sacred duty. We will never forget them. President Reagan's national security advisor told a recent meeting of the National League of Families of MIAs that the administration is giving their cause the highest priority. And President Reagan told the group that he would take decisive action on any live sighting reports that can be confirmed. The anguish you've suffered, the families of brave men, of listed prisoners of war or missing in action, the misery and anguish is unspeakable. Well, today, I want you to know that your vigil is over. Your government is attentive, and intelligent assets of the United States are fully focused on this issue. Reactions to the president's promise were positive. It was very positive, I think. I think it was one of the greatest things I heard him say in a long time. You know, something has to be done. These guys have been there too long. I feel that he spoke from his heart, that he means to try his best to bring them home, but him, he alone can't do it. The National League of Families is an organization of wives, parents, and children of MIAs. The group's executive director, Ann Griffith, has been to Vietnam to try and determine that country's position. That they claim that there is no linkage, that the POWMIA issue and resolution of it is a separate humanitarian issue. However, in the very next sentence, they will say that before there can be real cooperation and the ability to motivate the people of Vietnam to assist us in the accounting, that there will have to be a change in U.S. government policy to end the hostility toward their country and their people. The National League of Families has launched a public service television campaign to mobilize public support for the MIA issue. Under the Paris Peace Accord, all prisoners of war from Vietnam should have been returned 10 years ago. 2,500 are still missing. Ask for an accounting. As a daily reminder that the pain of the war in Vietnam is not over for everyone, Vietnam veterans from every state have set up a vigil at the Vietnam Memorial in Washington. They have vowed to remain until the issue is resolved. The only reason an American soldier fights is because he's patriotic, he's proud. They didn't give me no whole lot of money. Huh? But we're Americans. And we just cannot leave our people there. You know, we just can't abandon them.